Hi, Internet Grandpa here, and today we're going to read Little Critters, The Lost Dinosaur Bone by Mercer Mayer. Please reach down, click like, and subscribe. Excuse me. That tells YouTube you like these sorts of videos, and they'll put more of them out there for you. Now, let's begin. Our class went on a field trip to the Museum of Natural History. I couldn't wait to see the dinosaurs. When I grow up, I'm going to be a dinosaur hunter. Oh, look, they have a butterfly exhibit. But when we got to the museum, the dinosaur exhibit was closed. So we had to see the butterflies instead. The butterflies were fun, but I really wished we could see the dinosaurs. I could understand that. Can you? Oh, by the way, you got to look for his little mousy friend in each picture. There it is on his hat. There it is by the sign. So you got to find it on each picture now. Find the mouse. Next, we went to the rainforest. There were lots of trees with monkeys in them. Woo woo, said the monkeys. A guard came running over to see the monkeys too. So I asked him about the dinosaurs. I found out the exhibit was closed because a triceratops bone was missing. You see the monkey or the uh, mouse in each picture? There's two of them. The hall of gems and minerals. It was very dark. So we had to wear miner hats with lights on them. Tiger went looking for diamonds, but I was busy looking for the missing dinosaur bone. No luck. Do you see the mouse? Oh, I even see the spider. Goodness. That's a surprise. You see the mouse here? After that, we went to the planetarium where the ceiling turned into a sky filled with stars. We found out that the planet Mars is covered with dust and that the planet Saturn has rings around it. I kept my eyes out for the dinosaur bone, but I didn't see it. Look for the mouse on these two pictures. On our way to see a meteorite, I asked Miss Kitty if I could get a drink of water. When I found the fountain, I also found something else. The dinosaur exhibit. It had a big sign saying, Exhibit Closed. I went closer and saw the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was headed right for me. Do you see the mouse? Oh, and the spider in both these pictures. I ran away as fast as I could, and I found myself face to face with a Velociraptor. It had its mouth open wide so I could see all its sharp, pointy teeth. The guard told me the exhibit was closed because of a missing dinosaur bone. I know, I said, I've been looking for it everywhere. On my way out, I took a wrong turn. That says it's an Ankylosaurus. Kind of looks like um, a cross between a turtle and a horned toad, an Ankylosaurus, only they were big, real big. So he took a wrong turn on his way out. That's when I saw something long and white sticking out from under the Ankylosaurus skeleton. It was the missing dinosaur bone. Do you see the mouse in both pictures? I ran back to tell the guard. He didn't believe me at first, but when I showed the bone to him, he gave me this big smile. Then I told Miss Kitty and the guard took our whole class to the special place where the scientists study dinosaur bones. Thank you for solving the mystery of the missing Triceratops bone, the scientist told me. Oh, oh I don't see the mouse, do you? Oh man, that's a busy picture. He's got to be there somewhere. Oh, I see him. You pause it if you need to. I'm going to go on to the next one. The scientists took us on a tour of the dinosaur exhibit. They showed us a stegosaurus skeleton they had found buried in a mountain. I'm going to be a dinosaur hunter when I grow up, I said. You already are, answered the scientists. 
Oh, I see the mouse. Do you? You know what I'm going to do tomorrow? Dig for dinosaur bones in my backyard. <laughs> I think a lot of little kids, and especially little boys, they go through that time where they want to be paleontologists. They want to dig up dinosaur bones. Um, I mean, even before those... Uh, those movies that came out, can't even remember the name of them now. Uh, when I was a little boy, you know, I even wanted to do that. But, well, hope you guys enjoyed that story. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you. Bye-bye.